friends in this video i am going to discuss with you the concept of linear search this is one of the searching technique after understanding i will try to implement it in one of the programming language that is java using the id that is eclipse right i will try to implement it on the collection of integers right for that one thing is you must have an array 5 10 minus 5 7 20 so i have inserted the data into the array so one of the job is insertion second is i have gone for the display third i will go for the linear search for that for the linear search i will expect the user to enter the data once user enter the data right can i repeat what i am going to do i am going to make you understand the concept of linear search the very simple example if i says these numbers are in a queue or this number are arranged in an array then once i have taken the data so let's go to this and ask it are you the required data let's say the uh, data i want to search is 7 i ask it are you 7 if yes stop it if no move to the next repeat this process again and the very simple example if i go for if i repeat this uh, again 5 10 5 10 5 7 and 20 and the data i want to search is 7 so what i am saying go to this can i say this one is if this is the only way to ask the data from an array if a0 equal to equal to data what i am saying stop here otherwise move to the next move to the next means instead of 0 make it 1 very simple what i can do can i say this can be this must be the body that is to be repeated again and again so make it as a part of a loop and for that i will simply write the for loop for i equal to 0 i is less than 5 i plus plus right so if the data is matched if the data that is 7 is matched here itself stop here stop here stop here stop here right so what i am writing i am just writing break is it sufficient no i have to give the result as well ki whether the data is found or not whether the data is inside this array or not so based on this based on this break the loop will break intermediately if the data is not there let's say i want to go for 70 do we have this data no so who will stop it this will stop it so i can use this side effect to tell whether the data is inside this array or not and for that i will go for if i is less than 5 then data found else not found very simple this is the one way we can go for as many ways as we can right let's go for this and then i will try to give you the exercises for based on this the same program again and again i am showing you in all the videos this one is the function for display this one is the function for insertion right next i want to go for the linear search and for that what i have done i have written this data equal to 0 and i system dot out will enter the data to be searched 
I have taken the data from the user and then I have applied the for loop. For loop for what? For searching the data and I have gone for 0 to 5 and then if I found this data, I break this loop and based on this, what I am saying, if i is less than 5 data found, otherwise data is not found. Now let us try to execute it. let us display it and try to find out do we have the data please enter the choice ok so this is the way this is the program that I hope will work and you can try it yourself for this I can go for ok please print the position where the data is another choice another way ok let me write it number of exercises can be there. Print the position. Second, if the data exists, print the number of iteration or how many time that data exists. Third one, for all the data, print how many time those datas are existing are available thank you